Do you wonder why you're feeling worse on your trauma healing journey, even though you've been making progress? In this video, I want to explore why it sometimes can feel like, despite the fact we're making progress on our healing journey, we start to feel worse, not better. Hi, I'm Alex Hout, and I've been a therapist for over 20 years. I'm the creator of Therapeutic Coaching, a framework that integrates a psychotherapeutic approach with a solution-based coaching methodology. So one of the things that happens when we experience trauma in childhood is we find ourselves in situations where we don't know what to do, but we have to do something. Like we have to find a way to survive the situation and to move forwards. So maybe, for example, our core emotional need of love is not being met, and that could destroy us because that's not just a want, it's a need in childhood. So we learn by always being the, the achiever, being the performer at school, by getting the top marks, then we get love, and that becomes the strategy that we use. Maybe we learn to not feel, to not have our feelings and emotions, and we suppress them, we lock them away. We develop whatever strategies we develop to survive our experiences of childhood. But here's the thing, the walls that we build to protect ourselves in childhood become the walls of the prison that trap us in adulthood. Part of our work on our trauma healing journey is to recognize these things that we've learned, the ways that we're in relationship with ourselves, which are actually perpetuating the cycles of suffering, the things we learned to do to survive that are now the source of pain in our lives. So we work on understanding these things and we start to change them. We cultivate a healthier relationship with ourselves. We start to feel our feelings and emotions. We regulate our nervous system and we feel like we're making progress because we are making progress, right? We feel better and the world feels better. And then something happens. I've heard this story so many times from my own clients over the years that we start to feel worse. We start to have all these really difficult feelings and emotions that start to come up. We start to get flashbacks to memories in childhood we find ourselves becoming way more sensitive in day-to-day -day life. Like someone says something and it like genuinely wounds us in a way that it wouldn't have done before. And we think, well, I'm doing all this work and I thought I was making progress, but now I feel worse. Here's what's happening. That same wisdom that locked away all of those experiences in childhood, put them in a metaphorical box, put the lid on, put a bunch of books on top of the box. That wisdom that locked things away is also wise enough to know that you are now ready to deal with that history. The wisdom that saved us in childhood is now trying to save us in adulthood by presenting that stuff to heal because you're ready because your nervous system is more regulated, because you have got a healthier relationship with yourself, because you are doing some kind of good therapeutic work or inner work. And the reward, may not feel like it, but the reward that you get for that progress is that stuff starts to come up. The key thing is you keep doing the work. You keep working with that stuff that's coming up. Whatever tools you're using must be working because that's why the stuff is coming up. As we work through that history, what we find on the other side of that, it's not like there's an end point we've worked through everything, but there is a point that we've made meaningful progress. What I notice people find at that point is a much deeper shift in their system. So up until that point, we're having to work really hard to use all the tools and all the techniques we've got, and it's been helping, we're making progress, but there's a lot of efforting that's going into that. When that history has been processed and worked through, 
our whole system can relax to a much deeper place. It's almost like we were carrying the burden of this big black sack full of all that history we hadn't processed and like it was a struggle to carry that. And then we've put it down and our whole life becomes so much easier. So if you are reaching that point on your healing journey where you're feeling like it's getting harder and that stuff's coming up, it's progress. In fact, it's the reward you get for the work you've been doing, but the treasures that lie on the other side of that. The potential for you in your life is enormous. Keep going. I'd love to hear in the comments below this video, does this resonate for you? Is this part of your experience? And if so, what's been helping? Like what are the things that you've been doing to reach this point on your healing journey that your system feels safe enough to start to bring up that history? We learn from reading each other's comments, but also I read all the comments. And I love the fact that we get the insight and the learning from this whole community of people. So please do let me know in the comments below this video. If you'd like to learn more about how trauma is stored in your body, do check out this video. This is a video where I unpack that process and how that works in a lot more detail. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.